Hello, my friends. If you like to see a tribute to an amazing football player and his legacy, we are here at a beautiful place nestled by the foothills. It's an amazing park, a lot of people. And the place where Rashawn Salam contemplated his life. We are here to pay tribute to his life and only to see where he came to think and to do the unthinkable. We drove down a long road to this busy park. On December 5th, 2016, at around 9 p.m., I'm sure this park was fairly empty and cold. So near to the holidays, a dark, lonely time for a man who felt he was on the same road. Rashawn was all about CU Boulder, lying on the outskirts of this park. Eben G. Fine Park, named for an outdoorsy man and nicknamed Mr. Boulder. Rashawn loved nature, as Eben G. Fine gave back to the community. Rashawn liked to look up history of names and places. I also feel like I was led to this story as most of my tales from beyond do. Rashawn was found next to his car, unresponsive. And next to him was a note and it said, some days good, some days bad, don't be sad, no funerals please. And the second note inside the car said, no funerals, wakes or memorials, let me be in peace. And like most people, they don't know what they leave behind. when they pass away, especially in, in certain circumstance. I don't think he realized how many people actually loved him and would miss him when he was gone. But now we're gonna go to our next destination, another beautiful place, a peaceful place. Rashan Iman Salam was born in San Diego, California. Two parents running an elementary school. His father, Teddy Washington, running back for Colorado, San Diego, Cincinnati Bengals, later changing his name to Sultan Salam due to religious preferences. Rashawn stood 6'1", weighing in at 220, a force to be reckoned with in the field, a long, smooth gait. He could run. Stewart take a shot. Salam cuts it up. Looks like he's going to score. We'll count it off. 15, 10. 
swiftly gaining 2,055 yards, 24 touchdowns, the fourth college player to eclipse 2,000 rushing yards in a single season. Salam the other way. Inside for the touchdown. the ball to Salam, dive, goal line, touchdown. He played for four seasons. In 1994, he won the Walter Camp, the Doak Walter Award, and then the most prestigious, the Heisman Trophy. But he was uncomfortable with the spotlight that came with the trophy shying away from interviews. He was plentifully more than the Heisman, National Player of the Year, unanimous first team All-American, winning school records, running 67 yards to a touchdown, the team winning against Notre Dame 41 to 24 in the Fiesta Bowl, finishing third in the rankings. He went on to be first pick for the Chicago Bears in the 1995 NFL Draft. As a rookie, he rushed for 1,074 yards and scoring 10 touchdowns. But he had nine fumbles and only averaged 3.6 yards per carry. Plentiful of injuries, fumbles, and Mary Jane use. He only spent three years with the Bears. He was traded with the Miami Dolphins, but failed an exam. He spent the 1999 season with the Cleveland Browns and Green Bay Packers, but only two games that year. He briefly played in the XFL for the Memphis Maniacs in 2001, but injury cut his season short and the league folded after one season. In 2002, he launched a final attempt at an NFL career with training at the Chris Carter Speed School. He was picked up by the San Francisco 49ers in 2003, but let go in the second to last round of cuts despite high praise from head coach Dennis Erickson.
He was signed in 2004 to the Toronto Argonauts of the Canadian Football League, but soon suspended. Rashawn took the 1998 season off, then was signed to the Raiders. He was in a horrific car accident, a near brush with death, with a punctured lung and a cracked rib. Soon, in an interview, he revealed his Mary Jane use, attributed to his lackadaisical attitude, fumbles, becoming consumed by the drug during rehabbing from his injuries. Rashawn was good at hiding his depression and career anxiety, assuring friends and family he was fine countless times. He returned to San Diego to be with family for a time, then began following some business opportunities offered to him as a Heisman Trophy winner, working in China as a mixed arts spokesperson, bringing little success. He invested in an insurance firm but lost patience, as it hadn't brought instant gratification like he wanted. He decided to return to where his best memories favored at CU Boulder, possibly as a brand ambassador for the Colorado University Athletic Department and or coaching assistant. But a few obstacles barred his path, never attaining a college degree and instead preparing for his NFL career. For all his encompassing goals for a business career, he was known to go dark at times, not calling people back, trying to help him, becoming despondent due to opportunities, foundations, and groups, slow business ventures, or lack of funding. Soon he became ill with severe vomiting and on crutches that might have been gout, but diagnosed with bipolar depression, whereas he began to spiral and isolate himself. He adamantly assured he was doing fine to friends and family, reaching out to a business partner for help paying a debt and rent. Another business partner being investigated for a Ponzi scheme he might have lost money into. All this taking its toll to where Rashawn took his drive to think of the unthinkable. Rashawn might have had chronic traumatic encephalopathy, repeated blows to the head and concussions associated to ex-athletes in football and boxing Due to Rashawn's religious views, it wasn't diagnosed. His girlfriend said he suffered from memory loss, headaches, physical pain, and depression. He partnered with the Spin Foundation, standing for supporting people in need a way for Rashawn to mentor kids to reach their full potential, stating, for me, it's redemption. I can't go back to change things I shouldn't have done, but I can tell young people the right things to do. I have the story of greatness and I'm messing up. I can tell them what to do and what not to do based on experience. In 2014, he returned to the Heisman Trophy ceremony after a six-year hiatus to promote a charity he and a business partner had started. He attended the 2015 Heisman ceremony for the last time.
Six teammates helped to bring Rashawn to his final resting place. Then they lifted and carried him from his wooden casket, wrapped in a shroud of white. He is remembered for his charismatic smile and long running touchdowns, winning the 1994 Heisman Trophy. And we have traveled to pay tribute to Rashawn, Iman, Salam, son, brother, friend, and Heisman Trophy winner, October 8th, 1974, December 5th, 2016. God is the greatest. I love being around him. He didn't take himself too seriously, and he always credited those around him, especially his offensive line. His number 19 jersey was retired and his number 19 placed on the side of the Colorado University Stadium. What I liked about him is that he had a sparkle in his eye. He was upbeat and positive. I wish I had never won the Heisman, Rashawn once said to a friend, because of all the pressure it comes with it. I just want to play football. And here is Long straight shot into the end zone. His Heisman Trophy was apparently left on an airplane trip. After his death, his family thought it could be stolen, searching for where it could be, appearing in an auction. The seller promising to give the proceeds to help athletes with medical conditions, including CTE, fetching almost $400,000. Realizing the need for a mental health support system for former student athletes, in Boulder that ensures no University of Colorado athlete alumni shall suffer any medical or financial hardship alone. Colorado University of Boulder formed buffsforlife.org, a get help hotline, 833-303-BUFF, B-U-F-F, for family career health substance Help for the Marshall Fire victims, Buff for Life events, and sports news. Links will be in the description below. Rashawn's legacy lives on in his name for future youth and ex-athletes and those in need. He is at peace. His smile lives on in all of us whom wish to bring out the desire for mental health awareness. <laughs>